So hello students, uh, today I am going to discuss one more important uh, topic in line and multiple integrals. So that is the double integral. So why we need this uh, double integral and uh, what is the definition of a double integral and uh, and what are the applications of this double integral. So that one we will discuss it in this session. Okay. Let's, uh, let's come to the point double integral. Is, uh, to define this double integral, uh, you consider one function, a continuous function, f of x, y. So here x and y defined within the region R. So x and y are defined within the region R. Okay, you see this is the function f of x, y. It is a closed curve. <coughs> now you divide this uh, region into number of. Uh, so number of small small regions has more has possible so so then among that one you take one small region this one okay so you take this is the small region here we have n regions we are dividing this total region into n parts among that one of the part is this one so we denote this region as delta rn and this region has some area the area of this region you denote that is delta ai because this is the so you you take this is the point xi yi so then this is the region delta ri so and its area is delta ai so then <coughs> uh, you take the some so like that you take uh, uh, this is the function f of x y f of x y is the given function so which is defined in this region r f of x y is uh, defined in this region r and delta a i is the area of this uh, region delta r i so like that you take the sum of all these areas sum of all these areas so uh, areas into a function f of x y so a function f of x y so then you, then it gives the quantity f of x i y i into delta a i so this is for only this region if you apply the same to all this region and taking its sum is denoted like this so that is uh, summation of i is equal to 1 to n f of x i y i into delta a i so f of x i y i into delta a i so what is n we don't know n so it is under eight thousand or more than that so for that reason you take limit n tends to infinity infinity means it is a very big number so that means uh, we have to take this region is as small as possible yes to chikka region agata as to chikka region agi to go back one on the small small region so so then we get some accuracy so then this quantity gives this quantity gives a value okay that value is same as or that value is denoted like this double integral this is the indication of double integral double integral of f of x y da over the region r r we can return this one as limit n tends to infinity summation of i is equal to 1 to n f of x i y i delta a i is the same as double integration over r f of x y into dx dy what is this dx and dy dx dy is the area delta da da can be written as area means if you take this is a rectangle it is a small rectangle so then what is its area area of the rectangle is equal to length into breadth so what is its length you take this length in uh, length along the x axis is delta x dx and length along y axis is uh, dy so then da can be written as dx into dy so the region r is called the domain of this integration in what domain you are taking this integration so you just to think about this uh, definition so double integral this is the definition of double integral okay so then uh, you just think about this one suppose this f of x i y i is a constant function it is is equal to one so then what happens you are taking this area this area this area like that you are adding all the areas like that you are adding all the areas so 
finally it gives the area of this region r when f of x y y i is 1 so that means by taking the double integral of the function 1 function is 1 by considering function is 1 and taking the double integration over the region r it gives the area of that region that is one of the application of the double integrations okay so next we discuss uh, when we are when we are, so in applications part we discuss that in details okay so how to evaluate the double integral my next question is how to evaluate the double integral to evaluate the double integral so we are following some procedures so that means uh, here in the double integrals you know that uh, in the definition it gives the dx dy or dy dx that means we have to take repeatedly we have to apply the integrations so uh, if the region r is bounded by two curves that is x is equal to x1 x is equal to x2 and y is equal to y1 y is equal to y2 so then double integration of f of x y in, with respect to x and y over the region r is equal to so x1 to x2 y1 to y2 into f of x y dx dy that means first we have to take the integration with respect to x so when we are integrating this with respect to x treat y is the constant and then we have to differentiate integrating this with respect to y so when you are integrating with respect to y if x is there you treat it that x is a constant so okay this is the method uh, so one more uh, so we are here we have three different cases so here x1 and x2 are constants so is x is equal to x1 x1 is a constant x is equal to constant is a straight line that straight line is always parallel to y axis you see this figure so x is here x1 x2 are constants you see this is the domain of the integration that means the region which we have to take the integrations so here the region is in between x is equal to x1 x is equal to x2 so already told you that x is equal to constant is a straight line parallel to x axis so x is equal to x1 when x1 is constant definitely that is a straight line parallel to this y axis similarly x is equal to x2 that is also a x2 is a constant then this is the straight line parallel to y axis so then so here y and y1 and y2 are functions functions of x so that is uh, y is equal to x square y is equal to 4x square like that it may be any type of functions so here y1 is equal to f1 of x y2 is equal to f2 of x so then in that time how to take the double integral so in this case first we have to take the integration is with respect to y by by defining the boundaries as uh, y is equal to y1 the limits of y is the limits of y is f1 of x2 f2 of x and the limits of x is x1 and x2 so that means in this time you have to write it is dy dx that 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 is because first we have to take the integration with respect to y then the integration with respect to x okay so the similarly yes here i am uh, written in the same form uh, detail okay so first integration is with respect to y then its integration with respect to x okay so like that yes it's same thing uh, yes again uh, this is the another one one more this is the one more case so when uh, yeah uh, yes that same thing is explained here so here this is the strip uh, it is moving from ad to bc that means so that strip should cover this region it covers this region only when we are taking this region is the first we have to take the x is equal to x1 x is equal to x2 then y is a function of x and y2 is a function of x so take it is limit is from f1 to f2 it is the limit of y and limits of x is x1 to x2 so first integration is with respect to y then its integration is with respect to x suppose y and y1 and y2 are constants 
so y1 is a constant y2 is a constant so if y is a constant is a straight line it is always parallel to x axis here y is equal to y1 is a straight line parallel to x axis nee yavudu adu straight line thagoli y is equal to 2 y is equal to 5 ee tarad idre that is the equation of a straight line or straight line no x axis ke parallel agirutte so this is the point y1 this is the point y2 then the time these two are the straight lines parallel to x axis so again uh, here x is a function of y and uh, x2 is a function of y these two are the cars uh, these two are the cars now we have to take the integration over this region in that time first you take the limits of a constant y varies from y1 to y2 and x varies from g1 of y1 g1 of y2 g2 of y so that means first we have to take the integration with respect to x then integration with respect to y so this is the procedure or method uh, uh, we need to uh, follow when we are taking the double integrations so case 3 erdu constants idre x1 x2 no constants y1 y2 no constants in that time so it is your choice uh, you can take in any order so then it not then then it, then, it, then it, in both the cases it gives the same results so if y is a constant y is a y1 is a constant y2 is a constant x1 is a constant x2 is a constant so in that time this is the rectangle so that region is the rectangle if it is a rectangle then no problem so you can take uh, along uh, so first to take the limits of x or first to take the limits of y then it need then it gives the same results then no problem in that one so yav bekaro thagobodu eradu constants iddaga yenu problem illa yavudadru first thagoli yavudadru next thagoli but limits first thagondirodu idu uh, x na limits agidre out outer part al x barutte idu y na limit agidre so inner part al y barutte so idu limit of y andre ni first to, first way to take the integration with respect to y then integration with respect to x so in the problem in uh, when you are solving problem so if the limits are given then it is not a problem then it is uh, easy to solve this type of problems its limit is from as yes, uh, you take this problem evaluate the double integral from 0 to 3 1 to 2 xy into x plus y dy dx yes uh, first to take this integral is i limit is from 0 to 3 1 to 2 so you should you should observe this dy dx is there dy dx is there first integration is with respect to y next integration is with respect to x so like that so take the uh, integration with respect to y when you are integrating with respect to y treat x is constant so first to take the integration with respect to y so when uh, if you want to integrate with respect to y first you multiply this y with x plus y so then xy into x is x square y xy into y is xy square next if you are not multiplying then you have to apply the integration by parts adella kashta agutte multiply maadkondu easy multiply maadkondu solve maana easy agutte so then integration from 0 to 3 so and it is the integration of x square y with respect to y is y square by 2 integration of y square is y cube by 3 so integration with respect to y thagobekadre x na constant anta thagoli x the yenu difference agalla x has it is agirutte limit is from 1 to 2 apply the limit for this limit apply maadkondre idike yes it gives that uh, x square into 2 square by 2 plus uh, 2 into 2 cube by 3 lower limit is 1 so x square into 1 square by 2 minus x into 1 cube by 3 its simplification gives that i is equal to 0 to 3 it is not shifted to next line so integration from 0 to 1 i is equal to 0 to 3 so it becomes one of the two cancels here one the two cancel agutte so you can cancel one of this two here so if this 2 and 2 cancels okay so remaining is only 1 2 here you write that 2 2 into x square 2 x square plus uh, 2 cube means is 8 8 by 3 
8 divided by 3 so it is second term is 8 x divided by 3 third term is uh, 1 into x square x square by 2 and for fourth term is uh, x by 3 yes, uh, finally if you simplify this again 2x square minus x square by 2 gives that uh, 3x square by 2 and uh, 8x by 3 minus x by 3 is 7x by 3 again you integrate this with respect to x with respect to x integrate madudra 3 into integration of x square is x cube by 3 already 2 is there you write that 2 as it is 7 into integration of x is x square by 2 3 is there 3 hage nearly so here we can cancel this uh, 3 and 3 illi 3 matte 3 bekadre cancel agutte illi you can cancel this 3 and this 3 okay so then uh, what is remaining so if you apply the limit 3 cube divided by 2 plus 7 into 3 square by 3 to the 6 minus lower limit is 0 simplifying this it gives that 27 by 2 plus uh, 3 here also one of the 3 cancels so 1 to 3 illi kuda cancel out. remaining is only 2 here so 7 3 is are 21 21 by 2 so 27 plus 21 is 48 by 2 48 by 2 is 24 next so 24 is the double integral of that uh, one is yes, evaluate integration from 0 to 1 uh, 0 to 1 dx dy so that means first integration with respect to x then with respect to y if the limits are constants if the limits are constants and we can split completely that x and y terms split separate products again so in that product uh, it consists purely function of x and purely function of y see in other cases i don't know it is possible to write like this or not so in this case it is possible so you can write this integral as in that time we can't write like this okay so in this case we write this uh, term as uh, two product of two terms product of two in that one each is independent of x one is independent of uh, y and another one is independent of x so you can write it is dx by root of one minus x square dy by root of one minus y square now you integrate this you know that integration of one by root of one minus x square is sin inverse of x so it's sin inverse of x limit from 0 to 1 it is sin inverse of y sorry it is uh, y sin inverse of y its limit is from sin inverse of y limit from 0 to 1 so apply the limit okay sorry this 2 is not there so this 2 is not there that same thing uh, actually this 2 is not there okay it is a square of this sin inverse of 1 minus sin inverse of 0 square so this is a pi by 2 square pi by 2 square actually this is wrong 2 is not there pi by 2 whole square this becomes pi by 2 whole square that final answer is pi square divided by 2 square is 4 so it is pi square divided by 4 pi square divided by 4 is its uh, double integral value pi square divided by 4 is one more problem of the same type integration from 0 to 1 x to root of root x into xy dy dx is yes, you take this is i so first we have to take integration with respect to y then with respect to x as yes, you integrate y with respect to uh, integrate this with respect to y integration of y gives y square by 2 its limit is from x to root x so apply the root root x whole square by 2 minus lower limit is x x square by 2 so now it gives that x into 
here root and square cancels remaining is x x by 2 minus x square by 2 into dx so next uh, we have to integrate that with uh, with respect of x so and uh, outside one x is there one x is another that multiply mark so if when you are multiplying this with x x square by 2 and this becomes x cube by 2 so it is x square by 2 x cube by 2 again you integrate this with respect to x it is x cube by 2 into 3 minus x to the power 4 by 2 into 4 its limit is from 0 to 1 apply the limit so it is 1 by 6 minus 1 by 8 lower limit is completely 0 and when you simplify this it gives that 24 is the LCM it is the 6 uh, 4 is the 24 8 3 is the 24 so it is 4 minus 3 by 24 is 1 by 24 1 by 24 is the required double integral Here's one more problem of the same type integration from 0 to 1 x to 2x into x square plus y square dy dx so here you take i is equal to 0 to 1 x to 2x first we have to integrate this with respect to y so it is x square into integration with respect to y x square is a constant integration with respect to y is y plus integration of y square is y cube by 3 and its limit is from x to 2x so when you apply the limit it is x square into 2x plus 2x whole cube by 3 minus lower limit x square into x minus x cube by 3 simplifying this it is 2x cube plus 8 2 cube means 8 8 x cube by 3 minus x cube minus x cube by 3 so all terms consists of x cube so if you simplify this it gives that x cube plus 7 x cube by 3 again you add that it gives 10 x cube by 3 and integrating this 10 into x to the power 4 by 4 its limit is from 0 to 1 apply the limit it gives that 10 by 12 minus 0 so 10 by 12 can be written as 5 by 6 next uh, one more problem of the same type integration from 0 to 1 0 to root of 1 plus x square is there dy dx that is that means uh, first we have to take the integration with respect to y then with respect to x to integrate this you write these two terms in the denominator 1 plus x square as root of 1 plus x square whole square then its value is unaltered if you cancel root and square okay so just write like this this is because he yak barkondi divi antandre idanna idu nodlikke hege gide andre 1 by with respect to y now integrate maadbekandre it is like this 1 by a square plus x square in that form so now uh, he, he, when you are integrating with respect to y this x term is a constant so this constant square plus y square so that means 1 by a square plus x square formula ide so integration of 1 by a square plus x square is 1 by a into tan inverse of x by a remember that formula here also we use the same formula so 1 by a a means root of 1 plus x square into tan inverse of x by a x means y by a a is root of 1 plus x square its limit is from 0 to root of 1 plus x square to dx so you apply the limit if you apply the limit for this it gives that illi y is y plus alle root of 1 plus x square barat upper limit so lower limit alle y plus alle is 0 barat so it is tan inverse of root of 1 plus x square by root of 1 plus x square tan inverse of okay you apply the apply now okay tan inverse of root of 1 plus x square by root of 1 plus x square minus tan inverse of y is 0 it is 0 tan inverse of 0 tan inverse of 0 is 0 0 ne agutta idu then changes agala so it is 0 only okay so now uh, this is 1 by root of 1 plus x square and this cancels it is tan inverse of 1 this cancels so it is tan inverse of 1 tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of 0 tan inverse of 1 is pi by 4 minus tan inverse of 0 is 0 pi by 4 is a constant you keep it pi keep this pi by 4 outside from the integration 
pi by 4 into integration from 0 to 1, 1 by root of 1 plus x square dx. Pi by 4 into its integration is log of x plus root of 1 plus x square. So log of x plus root of 1 plus x square or it is sign hyperbolic inverse of x. But uh, hyperbolic functions, some, someone or not studied the hyperbolic functions. So better you write like this, use this formula. Log of x plus root of 1 plus x square. Its limit is from 0 to 1. When you apply the limit, it is log of x plus root of 1 plus x square is 1 plus root of 1 plus 1. When you put x is 0, it is log 1. Log 1 is always 0. So not necessary to write that. Final answer is pi by 4 into log of 1 plus root root. Similarly, you evaluate this problem. It is very easy one. First integration, you take it with respect to x, then with respect to y. So, and uh, verify your answers okay, after that. So, I, uh, so next class, I am uh, continuing the double integral part. So, some more problems on double integral. So, that is uh, by changing the order and by changing the variables. That type of problems I am discussing in next class.